Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and breaking from the tradition of going straight into the stage we were just at and taking the secret exit, instead, I'd like to welcome you back to Hey Pikmin with a forewarning. This level is the worst. But first, we're going to start with Sparkling Springs so we can get people on high tidings and collect some more sparkling because that's going to be really nice for us. At least I would like to think so. And um, we actually do things a little bit differently because this time we have winged Pikmin at our disposal, which means they take us to the top screen. Yeah, that's not something you see in this game a whole lot. And we can use uh, seven Pikmin to throw things, to throw themselves rather into here. So it's going to be nice. Always go for the time because that will be infinitely more valuable than anything else you can get. And we will go suck this plant of its natural resources before we end up killing ourselves due to sheer forestation and killing of amphibious creatures that intend to do us harm. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so there's a ton over here. So luckily you get a really, really wide range with these things. So that's nice. We got the crazy disco balls now. That's nice. So I'll go to stir crazy here, Mr. Elfson. Ah! So, what kind of is the worst about this is once they reach the top screen, you can't collect them unless you physically grab them, so... There we go. So that's not too bad. It does have a set finish, and 439 is not my best, but, you know, it, it'll do. Dun, 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 dun. What a happy-ass jig. As they're, like, bouncing on my back, they're like, can you guys stop? You're breaking my helmet. It's not doing me any favors. Cool. So, we're done with that. Um... And I'm really depressed because we're about to do the downpour thicket. This level, I practiced quite a bit. And I think I have a general strategy on how to get to the end of it. It is probably my least favorite stage in the game. There's another one that rivals it. But I won't tell you what it is until later. All right, so all of them are stuck to landing, so I think we're in good tidings starting off. So, this doesn't look too bad, right? We've got these um, four-leaf clovers we can stand on. They have nice little bulbs of water on them. Not too terrible. It's kind of a nice-looking level. I'm a pretty big fan of rain and things like that, so having a, the appearance of having just, you know, rained is bears good tidings for me. However, it's when we start continuing forward, and you notice there's water falling. These waters, blobs, they act as um, obstacles and thusly things that will knock you away into places against your will. And the recoil from taking that is so relatively severe for a game that already really limits your mobility that it is the worst. And it doesn't even get... Woo! That's not even the worst of it. Um, wow, okay. Your Pikmin are affected by it, however you can take shelter underneath these clovers. There are Wallywogs. But believe it or not, that is still not even the worst of it. And that's not something that I say lightly in a game that is pretty bad. Um, moving on, we have a new enemy, the Flying Spotted Jelly Float. These guys are very bad as well. They infinitely spawn and they will belly flop on your Pikmin. It is so, so annoying. And they will typically leave out their battle cry, they'll just scream it, and all of a sudden your Pikmin will be dead. And so bad but uh, here we are let's go grab this before we're finally introduced to the thing that has probably already been spoiled by the thumbnail because this is the only level we're doing in this video and by god does it show <laughs> that's right ladies and gentlemen we have the fully grown adult matured wallywogs here to contend with they aren't really bosses, they're treated like normal enemies, and the fact that the first one we fight, we only get four Pikmin to get them with. It's kind of uh, amazing, but they're a lot easier to contend with in this game than they are in any regular Pikmin game, mostly because they're so easy to read. But the fact that they're even in here, and the fact that they're so giant and can kill so many of your Pikmin if you're bad, <laughs> is uh, a testament to how much I'm not a fan. That's okay, they give us a ton of rewards, and despite all that, they're not really that bad. 
It's just when they start combining the multiple aspects of this stage is where it starts getting bad. So we're heading back into the water, it appears. There's more Wallywogs in their natural habitat. That's nice. And we'll just go nice and slowly take out all of these little fishies here. I'm so sorry. I think, yeah, we've got the return of the Eye Stalker Bulbeel. All right. Works for me. You guys can get the heck out of here. There you go. I still kind of want to show killing one of those on screen, but I, I did it off screen to see exactly how many uh, spark leaves it would give us. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. So just know they take forever to kill. And once you reach the damage cap, it's just moot. What in the world were you guys doing up there in the first place? Just kind of hanging out in the treehouse you made? Ah, reliving your years of adolescence, I take it. Um, on the upper screen, oh boy, there he is. He's just waiting to get us, isn't he? Ah, oh, by God. What a bastard. I hate that thing. Plus, you'll notice when we fought the first Wallywog, he was inside of like a cave or just somewhere where there was shelter from the bad weather. Not going to be the case when we fight this one. Oh boy. And uh, thusly, you can see where my frustration therein lies. Ooh, I think it was really close to getting this. But that's all right. We'll still take him out. And uh, there's actually something. Ooh, yes, I wanted to try something. So let's go ahead and wait for some of these baby Wallywogs to get out of the way. Please. Thank you. Thank you. I thought he was going to jump, but he was too slow. All right. So let's go recruit our new friends. And before we collect all of those things up there, take out Mr. Wallywog in the rain. As I promptly get hit. Nice. Wonderful. What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> Stop. Okay. I'll just get him. Technically, you don't have to kill him. He doesn't attack you unless provoked, but oh, shit. Okay. Let's take it a little, a little carefully. Um, wow. Okay. Literally every force of nature is against us. You're not dead. Good. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Also, I have recorded this video, or I have attempted to, at least two or three times. And at this point, the severe length of this level kind of just makes me want to go through. Even if I get a Pikmin death, I'm still going to show it. Because normally I haven't been, you know, showing the ones where I've had a stupid Pikmin die on me somewhere. But... This one, I'm willing to waive that right of this project and just do it this way because I'm sick of it and I just want to be done. So this is something I want to try. We have the upgrade jetpack and we got a bunch of sparkling over here, but there's more places we can get to over here. And I want to see what's... Ah! Lies here. Okay, we're right here. Gonna watch out for the water. That is completely random. And what is up here? Can you tell me? Show me the goods. Here we go. All right. Um, I just want to see if there's any secrets here. Uh, nope. We can go behind the treasure stash, but that's about it. Interesting. All right. Um, I guess that was completely pointless. I was really curious about that before, and I kept forgetting to check it. But I guess it's just nothing. That's really disappointing. This game is really skimpy on the obscure secrets. I'm telling you, no... Easter eggs. I don't even think Tataka's song is in this Pikmin game. Or any variation of like the secret song. They literally just treated this like the black child and they were just like, you know, we'll try the spin-off thing. And if it doesn't work out, then well, that's okay. We still have the new Pikmin game coming out on the Switch and it will be fantastic. Hey. Alright, let's head in here. Let's see what we got. Because this room, oh, hello, we've got the running streams. Alright, and we've also got to head up it. So that we can contend with this jerk right here. I think it's been a while since we've collected any treasure. I don't know why that is. It's because we're bad. Just, just gotta take him out. This guy's actually kind of a pushover. He's not trying to jump at all. <laughs> there we go. Try and belly flop some more. If he didn't have the ability to float in midair as he was, you know, projecting his jump or his belly flop, we'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> All right, but that gets us the personal odor shield. Um, how exactly? I have no idea why that is, but that's okay. We're fine. Let's move on, shall we? With our ragtag team of purple, 
purple. Blue Pikmin. I saw the purple background and I immediately said it. Plus, we've got the return of the red bubblips. These guys are a bit of a joke, but still kind of annoying because they cause a little bit of slowdown as well as the upper screen. It's fantastic. There we go. Nice. All right. And that is it, it looks like. Cool. So let's go over here and back into the water. Collect some hearts that we don't need. It's been a while since we've taken any damage, knock on wood. And we'll take care of more of these blubbering blinos. Just kidding. Ooh, here we go. It's the return of this asshole. Mr. Bulbear. Thank you. I was wondering when you would rear your ugly dang head. <laughs> cool. Yes, yeah, so the bulbeels. Just so annoying. They're just minor obstacles. Oh, and hello, our second treasure. It's the pick of destiny. No, it's mysteriously, mysteriously, it's merely a nostalgic buckler. Wonderful. All right, let's go wait for this guy. Those bubbles killing the frames. You're doing great. There we go. Yeah, this is not doing <laughs> any favors for us. Let's move up, and I think he can reach the top of the water, if not just barely. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, he reaches his stupid face up there, and he's like, Ah, oh, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot here. You know, why not? Alright. So, we're almost done. We're coming to the end. Don't worry. We are getting very close. And it gives us a ton of sparkling here. Holy smokes. This is beautiful. Oh. Thank you guys so much. Oh. Yeah, we're not gonna ever need that much. But this is the last room, and this is the one where I always die and it's the worst it's at the very end right before the goal <laughs> uh, they, they tricked us they thought it was a mirror but it really wasn't all right so we've got the return of the torrential downpour of 300 mile per hours down poor blues I don't know I'm tired and I just want this recording to be over so we're gonna go collect the last treasure and woo, not die from a baby wally walk that would be the absolute biggest kick in the face and also very revealing of this game it was just par for the goddamn course all right let's go fly between the lines here there we go no drug references please and I guess we'll uh, Avoid some water. There we go. That was weird. I had no feet there momentarily. Here we go. The final treasure. Where the frame rate clears up and we've got ourselves the menacing crusher. Thank you. <sighs> Alright. Let's do this. I, I plan on finishing this. You guys will see what I mean when I tell you. Holy smokes. It's bad. So let's go recoup with our group and get ready for what's about to... <laughs> up here ahead of us all right so we're gonna have the jelly floats coming everywhere so whatever way that it came from go the opposite way and run you cannot be shielded from the jelly floats by the clovers but over here we'll just wait and we'll be careful and go this way Ugh. I almost just <laughs> completely disregarded what I just said about these jelly floats but the game slows down so much here Oh my god, it's so bad. I hope you can tell in the recording how abysmal this frame rate is. It's so bad. It's so bad. This Oh my god, this game is not optimized for older systems. So opposite direction. Wow. None but nobody died. Okay, fantastic. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Now, here's the biggest kick in the face. Not this guy, but this one. The literal kick in the face. So let's take it slowly. Get rid of the spotted jelly float. That is not how you do that. You don't get your entire armada watered in the face. And my biggest piece of advice for anyone struggling to get through this without losing a single Pikmin. Take it slow. And do not kill the Wallywog. That is right. We will amend the rule. We will waive that constitutional right that all yellow Wallywogs must perish at the hands of our Pikmin. And just walk away because we did it <laughs> oh my god I just got the shivers that was incredible how bad I hate that level 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that seems like so shitty, but oh. We, we're done. And just like clockwork, my 3DS batteries are about to die. So thank God this was the run that did it. Beautiful. So 810, which is great because if we're lucky, we might actually get that final treasure from uh, the Pikmin Park. Oh, yes. Let us see what that uh, activity is, please. And it does look like it's the Rock Pikmin that did the great job here today, which means... <gasps> yes! Da, da, na, 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 na. Awesome. So we have the, I believe, that thing's called like, oh, 800. Yes! The Kendama Balling Cup game, right? Which means the outskirts have been completely, ex completely excavated of all of their natural resources. Which means we're just waiting for our damn winged Pikmin to do their job. But with that... Haha, -ha, we're at 26,000. The goal is so close. I am so excited. We're almost done. Oh, also, keep walking around the room there, Alamar. So, he gave us a little bit more health. That's really nice of him. Please don't go testing its limits because you can. No worries. Cool, 4,000 left to go, and we still have a decent chunk of game left to crew that number. So, that is fantastic. A good way to end off this video. <laughs> one level my god which means next time on hey pikmin we will be entering the bed of fallen leaves as well as a bonus stage but we'll save that for next time and we also have to go back through the uh, the, uh, the valley of the breeze and get that secret stage all taken care of so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm glad i finally got that out of the way god i hate wally Wallace. and rain especially in this game it's the worst my name is Allison Cruz, and I hope to see you guys next time for hopefully less failure. We'll see about that.